Hey Celebellas, welcome back to my hey. channel. Today Trevino and I are going to be talking about the time we first met because the day that you guys are watching this, the day that I uploaded, is actually the day we officially met 10 years ago. Whoop whoop. So if you guys want to find out how we met and also take a look inside our memory box, <laughs> then please keep watching. Should we start by telling them the time that we first saw each other or the time we met? So Selena insists that the first time we saw each other was when? <laughs> so in 2009, I went to a different school than where I matriculated from. I lived in a different town, but my parents worked in a different area and they used to travel every day. So at the end of 2009, did I say I was in grade 9? Use your hands a lot. Yeah. So at the end of 2009, my parents said moving. So I had to go to a new school. So at the end of grade 9, I went to a school um, and there was an open day and the prefect was just taking me around the school and I saw this this guy, he was kind of short, he was very dark and he had like long spikes but he had this big green baseball shirt on. Jack Purcell. So we looked at each other and like it was, we like locked eyes for a while and then we parted. Fast forward to the day we officially met which was the 14th of January in 2010. Yeah. The only reason I remember this is because it was two days before my birthday. Her birthday of which she didn't invite me to. I did! She did. Okay, she so yes. anyway, back to the story of how we met. Um, the school that I went to, I knew a few girls there. My cousin was there and I knew like some of her friends. But wait, am I dark? Very dark. You were. And now? Like, no, you fail now. You were like... How do people go from being dark to I fail? don't know. And anyway. you were very dark when I first met you. Okay, so I knew that there was a guy named Trevino. I didn't know who he was, what but... What was his name? Trevino. <laughs> so all these girls kept like, oh, Trevino, Trevino. So I was like, okay, who is this Trevino person? Then we walked away from the tuck shop and Trevino turned that way. And I only saw the back of his head. But my friend was like, that's Trevino. So the one thing that caught my eye about him was his school shirts. It was yeah. so white, like... Mac, 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 do you remember that? It was white, not a single crease on it. And I just saw like his shoulder part and that white shirt and I was like, hmm. It's weird. Okay then, okay. <laughs> so anyway, later on in the day, I walk into my bio class with the same friend. And she's like, that's Trevino. So I looked and there was this guy sitting on, like if this is a desk. I love the, had, I love the He had his hand response. like this, but he was just like, like staring at me walk past. And then now your part, tell them. So the first saying? thing I saw, the first thing I noticed is the legs. <laughs> Notices. Notices of her legs. Her legs were like her legs are still super amazing. But they I don't look know. Look there, don't look here. I'm shy. <laughs> her legs her legs, yo guys. Model legs, hey? Yeah. And I mean she was quite the look as well. Not just was. Like, oh. <laughs> what? Is Thank you. Mm -mm. I love it. <laughs> I just I loved her curly hair as well. Yeah. Her so, hair was really curly and I, I always had a thing for curly yeah. hair. Yeah. So my hair, I never straightened it. It was just curly and you know back in the day when your hair is curly you just wet it and put gel in it so it was like that crunchy <laughs> oh, I curls. Remember that look. But it was nice, it was really nice. It was a pony, my a dress pony. was short, I was black. <laughs> so anyway we get to bio. And um, the teacher is like, okay, everyone. Wait, what was happening? Oh, this was this was a favorite. The this teacher was, was like, okay, everybody, get up. We're gonna sit alphabetical order. Naidu so, and Naidu. <laughs> so Trevino asked. He it was Trevino, another girl. I think it was Megan, Megan and myself. So Trevino asked this girl. He's like, um, is her surname Naidu with the U or the double O? So I looked at him and I'm like, it's Naidu with the double O. And then he started Some smiling. Attitude. So we ended up sitting next to each other. And apparently uh, I was very funny. Trevino used to get us in trouble. Now remember. It was Selena, guys. Selena I is was, the talkative no, one. Come on. I always played tell. by the rules. I was scared of demerits, scared of getting in trouble demerits. in school. So I was always like a joke. quiet and played by the rules. Trevino kept talking and kept making me laugh and saying weird things. And I would just giggle and laugh. And the teacher was 
not a very nice teacher. She she separated us. Yeah, she did. But eventually, we ended up sitting next to each other again. And from the time we met until we started dating was really short. Eh? It was. So we met on the fourteenth of Jan, mm. and we started dating on the twenty sixth of Jan. Yeah. So um. Couldn't resist this fineness. So yeah, he said weird things like his pickup lines were so cheesy. He was like, "Hey, <sighs> have you ever been to Red Lagoon?" And I'm like, "What?" Uh, and he's like, "Why are we my going this is... deep? Why are we going this deep?" Because <laughs> my dad is. Why thinking... are we putting? Because <laughs> my dad is thinking of opening know. one, and I was like, "What?" And then he's like, "Have you ever eaten murthy and herbs?" So I'm like, "Murthy is herbs." No. Really, you know? but it was just so funny. Babe, and so shouldn't weird. we like talk about this before we? I thought like boundaries. Come on. <laughs> It was so funny and he was so weird and he kept asking me for my number but I thought he was one of those weird guys who was going like, to take my number my land life, and, I never sell yeah, so I thought he was going to take my number and give it to other boys because that was the Why? thing back then Why would people that's do how that? people were back then so I'm like mm, you know I don't think so but and here's the truth the next day I came to school with an invite to my sweet 16 she I gave him to Trevino and to he even birthday, said you Wait. even said, oh, Springs, I know where this is. My father does deliveries there. No way. Yes. You didn't invite yes, me. I did invite him. My mother's number was on the RSVP. So we were dating at the time. We were not dating. We started dating on the 26th. Keep up with the numbers. I am. No, you're not. Anyway, I the, how I can tell you that you were invited to my birthday party, because that entire night I kept talking about Trevino and I kept telling everyone I did invite him, but I don't think he's coming. It's your birthday, why were you talking about me? Because I liked you, I had a crush on you. Do you want to tell them how like the days led up to when you asked me to be your girlfriend? I used to walk into class and I can't Yeah, so we'd day. always like walk each other to class and get... I, never I would get late class. because I'd walk Selena to class, class, hold her books, yeah. Um, I'd get like in trouble I'd have to sit at the front of the class. How many classes do we have together by the way? We only in grade ten we only had bio. What about maths? You dropped maths, you did maths little. But yeah. for the little while we Oh I remember in, in our maths class. We had this one teacher. He said like, to talk be not through her nose. I don't know, don't say don't anything. Say anything. <laughs> you know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, Trina. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Trina used to sit behind me, and I sat next to another she boy. She twirl her hair, guys. Oh, not intentionally. No, it wasn't. It, it was. How do you? How it do you? Was not intentional. How do you? How do you not be? Uh, uh, it was uh, not uh, intentional. It was intentional. No. So I just like, sit there and like. And her tongue would come out now and again, and the left like just. <laughs> what no, nonsense! Yeah. No. How would you know my tongue would come out if I was sitting in front of you? Because you like, as she would. T- Twirl her hair, she'd lick her lip and then like look at her. I never did that! Like romantically. Okay, now okay. He's lying, I never did that. Oh my word. But yeah, it was so weird and I was thinking about it this morning. Before we even started dating, maybe it's a normal thing now, but back in the day it wasn't normal. So before we even started dating, we'd hold hands and we'd walk around school. Yeah, that was cute. Like just like hold hands. Holding hands. And like walk around school. And it was enough. <laughs> And Trevino used to buy me a lot of chocolates. I think we had a bit. He used to say something. I'm not going to say it because it's kind of dodgy. He used to say something and he said, if you can guess what it means, then I'll buy you a chocolate every single day. And when I eventually did guess it, I used to get a chocolate every single day. I just day. felt sorry for me. She's like, this guy's not even working. Where does he get money? Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to mention where I got money I'm from. I'm like, what's going but on yeah, here, I'm bro? I a chocolate until she's like, no, you don't have to anymore. Yeah. And then the other story that we always debate on is how you asked me to be your girlfriend. There was no chocolate involved. There was a yes there and was no, no chocolate. There was no question chocolate involved. There was a question Can I tell chocolate. You? Okay. It, was, <laughs> it was this stupid sports day that you have to do for LO to get your PE oh, marks or whatever. I hated those things. I always I made excuses. You were weird. So anyway, um, Trevina and I were holding hands afterwards and we were walking around. And we sat down opposite the book room. And he, I can't even remember exactly what you said. Can I just thought I was looking this way. And Trevino was talking and I was like smiling. I was like, oh. <laughs> like, I really, really like you. Would you like to be my girlfriend? We were holding hands. There was a chocolate. There, there was, was no chocolate. Where does the chocolate come that in? Came there was. Out. No. And you're like, bro, good. You took the no. yes. You gave me the no. No. That was for something else. Okay, yes, that there was no yes or no chocolate. <laughs> what? What? There was no question chocolate. First of all, it's not a yes or no chocolate. See, it was a yes there was no chocolate. question chocolate involved, involved asking me to be. She ate the yes, she gave me the no. <laughs> I gave it the no. You see, that is, proof. Okay. that is proof that 
that there was no question chocolate oh my makeup okay now that we got through that we are going to open up this box of some memories from high school and i think a little bit after which we don't we have not looked at yeah it's been about on that note on our first year anniversary of dating in grade 11 i bought a big brown box about this size i arts and crafted that i have thing. the box there you in not, my room you do not there. have the box let me finish intact. the story let me finish the story calm down calm down don't get so defensive <laughs> i i don't know where i got the money to do this from but i did it it was really sweet and i do still have it he does not so i diy this box it was a huge brown box i printed photos of us from the past year and i mod podged this thing onto the box so it looked like it came like that and inside the box i had a little something from each of the 12 months so i had like a little box that had like a number six on it for the sixth month with movie tickets in it or whatever so i had letters and photos and like chocolate papers and stuff from the whole year and it was the sweetest most thoughtful gift i have ever given anybody in my entire life fast forward to when we were like in matric grade 12 or maybe like the year after school and his parents moved from the house that box got damaged destroyed and lost you feel better now yes cool. okay so this valentine's 2010 our first valentine's day trevino bought me this huge balloon and a big teddy. I still have the teddy, and clearly I still have the balloon. Ooh, there's it a date. Be, Ooh, there's, there's more chocolates in here. Whoa! Our anniversary, our one year anniversary. It says 2601 11. I don't think you guys can see that. Oh, do you want to read? There's nothing in there. There oh. is something in there. And My I love for you will never die like the gift. It was those. Fake flower. Not a fake, it was like those polystyrene roses. Roses, yeah. yeah. Whoa! Uh, Trina, this is from our one year. Six months. Six months. Yeah. We went to Greenstone yeah. Mall. It was our first date. Uh-uh. Wasn't it? It was our first date. No, our first date was in May. Greenstone Super Bowling. We went bowling. No, this was I think the arcade. Yeah. Whoa. I don't think you get things from like that from bowling. Hang on, hang on, hang I on. I cannot believe that this is from our one year anniversary. Ferrero and more movie ticket thingies. Arcade ticket. Second of November, twenty nine months. Nine months. I think this is the stuff from the memory box you no, moved in here. No, no. I didn't. Stop trying to redeem yourself. Ah! Oh, okay. You do not remember what this was. Promise rings. It, no. It was an NWJ box and it's an American source box. So what happened here was, I was turning 21 in January 2015. And Trevino and I were planning on going to Cape Town. Why am I so on top of you? And we were planning on going to Cape Town. But because we're Indian, our parents and my grandparents were like, you can't go without being engaged. So we just bought each other promise rings. And How long were we engaged though at the time? Five years. Five years. Mm -hmm. It was also the first Not time. Really without being engaged. I don't think they, they said wanted they wanted us. something like a commitment yeah. or like, hey. Because I thought they thought I was going to get knocked up. Not like, you could only do that in Cape Town. But yeah, so Cape Town was our first holiday that we went to alone. That's why we went to Hawaii. I'm going to read this letter from China. My Chino. spelling and the way I wrote. To Sela. When I see her, I just can't help but tell her. How glad I am to be her fella. My angel, think, I think you're the eighth wonder of the world. And why is your handwriting and spelling and so that's bad? angle, not angel. Oh, that's my angel. Thing. It's my handwriting. And that one of the reasons why I'm proud to call you my girl, my baby, you're more precious than any pink pearl. Forget what happened in the past, though it may have been a blast. You know that I'm your Terrence and I'm going to keep it like that even for future reference. Yo! So... Trevino's name was hard for me to remember. No, not for me. My cousin Clara, she was small. She wasn't in high school yet. And every day I used to go home and tell her about this boy Trevino and she'd be like, what's his name? Terence. So that's where Terence came from. Is this me or you? This was you, babe. Who has the time to do this? Ah, you were romantic back in the day. Now I'm you can't romantic. even make me tea. I make you tea. After I ask you to my beautiful baby doll, a very happy birthday. And I, oh, you bought me sneakers this year. A very happy birthday and I love you very much and wrote this letter and made it with much effort to show you just how special you are to me. You are beyond beautiful and your intelligence is far ahead of other girls your age. My prayer my prayers for is always that God Ooh, Jesus. That God will keep you in his arm and continue to show you his mercy and grace. Today is a very special day and I know you're going to have a blessed day. It's my chance to show you my appreciation. It's almost my birthday again. I want to hand it to her. 
Are we gonna read all the letters? Not everything. So oh, the CD. I used to hold these. So put, I used to put these guys. letters in my blazer. So I used to walk it on the off, and I even numbered them like letter thirty-eight. This is thirty-six. Yeah. I wanna find like an early one. Twenty-two. Uh, letter number two. Here we go. Letter number two. I love you a lot. What is this? Ooh. Sell baby doll tree no no. I don't remember that. Okay, so this letter, oh, there was a girl man. who was getting jealous that Trevino was giving me attention and even though he just met me, but he's known her for all this time. Yeah, and this is Trevino. Yeah, hey, I'm telling you, she doesn't like me, but really. And I like someone else, dot, dot, dot. We weren't dating that this time. We were just writing notes in class. What the heck? And what about all the boys that like you? What's his name? <laughs> and then I replied, she does like you. Or oh, maybe she's jealous because... Oh, my God. No, no, no. <laughs> you see? <laughs> no. Wait, stop. Let me give it a tear it. Your handwriting was quite neat, eh? Oh, oh my god, into this. Somebody help me. Oh, it's just me shout. Shake your bum bum. With all the amateurs. What? Wow. This one day. I love having these memories. Okay, let's move Ooh, on. To my husband? Yeah, why did we call Whoa. each other? That? It's crusty as you can see because we've been together since the dark ages happy, happy anniversary my nunu be ba what baby before everything else i love you thank you so much my husband what oh. the hell you really transform me into a better person someone that can actually what actually love me without being afraid what i love you so much and i'm so happy that we've been so together lol in this year that passed this one year and i'm calling you my husband what no, Dude. no, no, ah. no, no, no. She was speaking it into existence. This one year was just one second, even smaller of the life we have had a life together. I know this isn't a great card and the Prezi looks a bit rough, but I really tried and I got panicky towards the end and it kind of came out through the gift. No, it didn't. But now I love you and thank you, baby. Happy anniversary. I love you. Why was I calling him my Why husband? Why are you checking our letters? What? That's what Travis used to look like. This is what like, Travis people. used to look That's like. That's what so, he used to look like. This was my first um, Valentine's gift from Trevino. It was this bear and that huge teddy. I mean, balloon. That's cute. Who remembers? Ah, the battery is flashing. A CD. A Valentine's card. I'm not reading that. Another letter. Oh, the first time we went to Cape Town. Oh, that's cool. This is cool. Oh, you edited in, love? Yeah. I think about oh, this it. is nice. Like a little check it out. So this is quite cool actually. It says it all started at school when we first saw each other in 2009. This picture marks the end of our school days and the beginning of the rest of our lives together. I love you, Trevino. So this is from our matric farewell and it has our matric student numbers on it. Thank God we didn't break up. Uh, did you start at the back? And then yeah, it was a mistake. Us? Okay. <laughs> okay. So you had this thing for CDs, right? Yeah, that we had. I made him a CD. Happy CDs, one year. I think there's CDs. pictures on there. Happy one year and four months. I love you, babe. Oh, but we can't watch it right I'm going to put it laptop. in the laptop. Yeah. Okay, guys. So my battery is flashing. We are going to take a trip down memory lane. Yeah. If you guys want to see what else is in this memory box, please do let us. Oh! 27 May 2010, Ooh. our first drive through. We were dating for four months. This is where my McDonald's issue started. I don't know when she came to another job. Oh, that! I'm gonna tell the story. Oh, quick, I'm gonna tell the story. Wait, this is the pebble that we took from Clifton the first time we went to Cape Town. So this is from Adventure Golf. So there was this. There was this particular hole. It was extremely, extremely difficult because it was a hill. And Selena kept laughing. She laughed so much that I peed. She peed herself. Not a tinkle, guys. Because the ball, the, the ball literally kept going all the way up to the hill and dropping all the way up, and it just it didn't go over. Like we tried. So and then many I think times. this is a so really good back. last one. I don't have anything from the wedding here yet. Do you wanna, do you wanna, do you wanna show them my poetic justice? Wait, this is a cork from when we popped our champagne when we got the keys to this house, our first house. Oh yeah. VVIP faithless. VVIP. 
ballers. Okay, guys, yeah. So I'm gonna end this video here. It was really amazing. We are gonna go through the rest of this box. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and come back on Friday at 12:30 for a new video. Bye, Cella Bellas.